it for the world. Hey everybody, Loud House Critic here. You ready for another round of Snow in the Loud House reviews? Snow Way Out. The 49th episode of Season 2 of the Loud House, but overall, 101 episode. Everybody, much likely above 13 and over, you're going to love this one, especially if you love Lana Loud so much. Trust me, by the end of this review, you're going to love to hear what I have to say about this one. Doing. Defrosting the goulash dad left us. Maybe you should try the stove. Good idea. I was worried this would give the goulash split ends anyway. No fucking comment. Forget the goulash. My favorite race car driver, Bobby Fletcher, is holding a contest tonight at the Burp and Burger. Whoever finds a burger with the tire marked wrapper gets to be an honorary member of her big crew. I see you got the winning wrapper. Welcome aboard, Lana. I could swear that female driver kind of looks like Danica Patrick from NASCAR. So all the siblings and even Lana are preparing to leave for the Burpin' Burger. Speaking of, is it just me or did we only hear the Burpin' Burger only one time during season one out of the limo and it never is heard once more again until this episode? Woohoo, yeah! Siblings, I'd like to call your attention to the rapidly descending ice crystals, street name, Snow. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Fine, Liz. You can stay here and eat the goulash. I call shotgun! So they arrive at the Burpin' Burger, and it's just as much as they're gonna get their fill on, they meet the famous NASCAR driver, Bobby Fletcher. Bobby Fletcher! <laughs> thanks for coming out, racing fans. I wanna give a huge thanks to my sponsor, Burpin' Burger. Let me tell ya, you can't get past the starting line without quality fuel, and mine is right here. The Big Belcher with extra pickles. I can't wait to have one of you folks on my pit crew. All you gotta do is find the burger wrapper that looks just like this. I want you to be the first to find a golden ticket, Daddy. I know, Angel. We're doing the best we can. Ladies and gentlemen, start your stomachs. I like this body character. She should get more time into the show, like Miss Dan Martino and even Hugh from Study Muffin. Where the hell did those two go? Give me a dozen burgers and try to make one of them the winner. A dozen? Wow, you must really want to be on that pit crew. Do I really need to point out who voices that employee at Burp and Burger? Oh yeah, Bippity Fletchman, huge fan. Actually, her name is... Don't care, just gonna sell the winning rapper to some sucker for big bucks. Come to Flippy. Oh, brutal. No rapper, no rapper, no rapper! Dang it! All losers! Keep those burgers cooking, Slim, because I'll be back for more once I scratch up some moolah. You know, something I, I quite noticed when I was starting to get into the show of the Loud House, the Flip is kind of a dick. I mean, once you think about what he's done for interns worse, come sail away, etc., etc. He's just such a bastard. No, I take that back. He's just such a fat bastard in the various ways of how he can rip people off. The guy's a total door jammed. He doesn't give a fuck about anybody, besides money. He so reminds me a bit of Scrooge's rival, Flongoat. I believe that's how his name is actually said. Because this stubborn rich bastard just cares so much money in taking Scrooge McDuck out for good. I would prefer Mr. Krabs over Flip. There was an episode that Mr. Krabs ever made me laugh at SpongeBob SquarePants. It's during an episode where he got Patrick and SpongeBob to paint a room blue and not to get a single paint on his dollar bill because if they did he cut both their butts off and put them on his freaking pegs <laughs> which i thought was fucking hilarious because i don't think anyone has the gall to cut anyone's buttocks off you shut up we'd like 10 big belchers and one baby belcher please okay that'll be 25 dollars oh don't worry guys i got this Let's see, my gum collection, banana peel, owl's foot, ah, here it is. Oh, one of our kids eat free coupons, great. Owl's foot, how the fuck did you get that? Oh, Ooh, um. 
fly away, you coward. All right, guys, dig in. Jesus Christ, kids, slow down when you're eating your food. You end up getting collie wobbles. So once they finish eating all their burgers, there's no such luck as for the golden Sorry wrapper. Sorry find the winning wrapper, Lana. That's a good way to clear someone's tears up. But Lana gets so determined to actually find that golden wrapper and decides to go for a second round of burgers. I'll take 11 more burgers, please. And I have another coupon. Ugh, why is it so sticky? Wouldn't you like to know? Excuse you, warthog. Ugh, still nothing. We have to order more burgers. That's not gonna be a good idea. By the way, look at the facial expression on Luna and Lori. Tell me exactly what do those face expressions look like to you? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I really hated to bring that image back. As much as I don't like seeing the sad house. But, moving right along. Uh, in light of the worsening meteorological conditions. God damn! Never heard Lisa burp before. By the way, all the burpings are done by the real actors themselves. That's no sound effect they're using. Real actresses are really using their own belches to record them. Perhaps we should follow the lead of the other patrons and Amstray. Come on, you guys, one more round. Uh, I can't eat anything uh, else. Uh, I can't even joke about burgers right now. You don't have to eat them. Hops and I will take them home for breakfast. Uh, Let's try that again, buddy. Hey, oh, fuck. Snake. You want more burgers? You gotta pay for them. So Lana searches every cranny and nook around the whole entire bur bourbon burger joint to find every single dollar, quarter, or nickel, or penny, and pays for more burgers. So far, they haven't found a single golden wrapper of it. You know, finding that golden wrapper kind of reminds me of the golden ticket from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Except this only has one winner instead of five winners. Sorry, Lona. I don't have it. Me neither, dude. Same here. I guess that's a wrap. <laughs> oh, sorry. Ew! Someone wrap my burger in this dirty old rag. Lenny! You found it! You found it! <laughs> Cause I've got a golden ticket. I've got a golden ticket. Finding this wrapper means the world to me. Thanks for all your help, guys. All right, now let's get home so I can let him rip in privacy. I won't even ask. closet where they keep their snow. No, Lenny. We're snowed in. Did you hear, Belle? We can't go home. We can always build a home. I'm sure Mickey will think of something. No, only does this kind of remind me of Mickey's Magical Christmas snowed in at the House of Mouse. It kind of reminds me of a Simpson episode where so much Bart and the other kids were snowed in at the school. And they had so much fun tormenting Principal Skinner. And you're not going to believe who actually comes back to the Burp and Burger. A bunch of cheddar digging stranded suckers out of the snow. Lay a dozen burgers on me, bicycle boy. You can save your cheddar. I already found the winning wrapper. What? Oh, hockey. That baby was going to make me a fortune. I don't give a shit. I'm out. Flip Wade, can you give us a ride home? We're stuck here. Stuck, are you? I can help you out for a price. Thanks, but I don't do dirty dealing with people like you. Let's say, uh, I don't know, one winning rapper? What? No fucking way! Guys, we worked so hard for this. I'll get us home, I promise. Suit yourself, but this offer expires the second that door hits my keister. Well, I hope you know what you're doing, Lana, because I am literally not sleeping on hamburger wrappers. Oh, wah, wah. No worries. Flip's truck cleared the path, so we just need to make it to Vanzilla. You dick! You motherfucker. Oh, God damn this fucker. Yep, Flip is a total asshole. I really so much enjoy Mr. Grouse more than this guy. But so much of them back, being back snowed in again, Lana still finds a way for them to get out of here. By digging a tunnel to get to Vanzilla. And you know, this is kind of a bit nitpick, and I'm sure everybody else will agree with me on this one. Hobbs is actually a cold-blooded kind of creature, and a creature like that would actually die out in this cold conditions. 
Much cold-blooded creatures just hibernate into the winter, and some cold-blooded creatures prefer warm tropical places. If you don't know what cold-blooded is, it means that they can't generate their own heat. Like a bear, an elephant, cat, a dog, cow, a pig, even us, we're warm-blooded creatures. Creatures like amphibians and reptiles are cold-blooded. They have to find their own heat source because they will die in cold conditions. There you are, old girl. I'll have you out in a jiffy. Hey, guys, we're going home. You literally did it, Lons. Thanks, yeah. oh, nice oh, nice yeah. Yeah. Go, dude. <laughs> and you guys wanted me to give my rapper a flip. Hmm. Better check out the engine block. Of ice? Uh, if you just let Flip give us a ride, we'd be home by now. Silence! Ow. There's no signal here. I'm gonna warm up inside and use the landline. Hey, you stay away from the frozen food section. Your boobs will harden. I know just the thing. Lana tries to thaw out the ice on the engine. God damn it. But causes a blackout in the bourbon burger, which is not a good thing, and it reminds me of the movie The Day After Tomorrow. Least of our problems. I'm so cold I can't feel my tushy. As Lana is attempting to fix the engine, Hobbs is taking notice how much the kids are suffering and shows Lana what her actions has caused. Hobbs? <laughs> Poor thing. I'll keep you warm. If we huddle together and conserve our dwindling body heat, we may be able to stave off hypothermia. I forgot how much I hate huddling. They'll never survive without their mother. Oh well. Survival of the fittest, I guess. Oh man, I've been so selfish. him down. I just followed the smell of curly fries and beer. Gross. You went out in these conditions? You could have lost the digit to frostbite. I had to. I couldn't let you guys suffer all night because of me. So now Flip will take us home. Right after I get that wrapper. <gasps> we know how much that wrapper meant to you. Thanks for giving it up and getting us out of here. Thanks, Lon. I didn't yeah. know how much this means to you, Lon. Now this is more is most touching. Lana being in the spotlight. That's what I call an act of true love. Always warm a nearly frozen heart. So Flip having the kids in his big ass Hummer plow truck escorts them home. Wait, that's Bobby Fletcher! Stop, Flip! We have to help her! Ah, you just mad cause Jesus doesn't love you. But that said, Lana orders Flip to actually stop and decides to go help her. What happened? Engine died. This baby can hit 210 in the straightaway, but throw a little snow at her and she conks out. You know, there's an actual reason why those type of cars would actually be towed onto a truck. Cars like that aren't meant to be driven on the real road. They're meant to actually be on race tracks. So the actual real driver would actually be driving in their own car. But Lana helps Bobby out and fixes up her engine. Now. Dang, my pit crew isn't even that fast. What's your name, sport? Lana Loud. Well, thank you, Lana Loud. Give me a call when you're 18. I could use someone like you on my team. Wow, thanks! Oh, I love seeing these two together. Even though Lana actually did find the gold ticket and sacrifice it to Flip, she still got to meet her actual driver idol. And yet she still manages to actually get in to being one of Bobby's pit crew. Well, isn't this a delightful turn of events? I really love those kind of turn of events. Hey, Bippy Fletchman, she may have fixed your car, but I'm the one who brought her here. How about a little something for me? Coming right up, pal. Hey, Snow use of crying over being a sore loser. Get it? Snow reason? So, how did you guys like Snow Way Out? Cause to me, I really love this one. Especially when the story is centered around Lana Loud. That's refreshing. Finally, Lana Loud actually gets the turn in the spotlight where there's an episode that centers around her. This is exactly what we need. 
Every episode has been on Lincoln, Lori, Luna, Lola, Luann, Lucy, and sometimes Lenny. But later on, we get a few more episodes around Lynn, Lily, and Lisa. We really need some more Lot of Loud episodes. So many people love this character. She's like my third favorite, right behind Luann and Lucy. And a fun fact about this episode, this is the only Lot of Loud episode by far where she doesn't do anything gross. This is a great episode, but Lana put her family in danger. They almost froze to death in this episode, all because she wanted to meet a race car driver. But hey, everybody makes mistakes. At least she noticed and made a sacrifice. She wasn't totally completely selfish. In fact, Lana's never too selfish, as Lola Loud. When watching the episode again, when Lana likes race cars, it makes me think that I should watch NASCAR a lot more out there. It makes me want to go to the arcade and play a few driving games. A little piece of trivia about that NASCAR driver, Bobby Fletcher. She's most likely based on, as you probably already had guessed, Danica Patrick, one of the famous NASCAR drivers. And her car number has 8800. It's the same exact number as the retired NASCAR driver, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Coincidentally, and I can 100% guarantee that you didn't know this, the voice actress who played Bobby is actually the niece of Dale Earnhardt Jr. and the granddaughter of Dale Earnhardt. God bless his soul. Yeah, I'm pretty shocked to find out too, especially when I was trying to research on who the voice of this Bobby Fletcher character was until it came to a shock to me. Look this person up. I am not shitting with you. Every word what I said about this is actually true. And it's almost greatly to actually hear Grand Palmer's voice once again, who ironically was the first voice child actor who voiced Lincoln Loud during the first season of The Loud House until he had puberty. I honestly can't believe how much his voice had changed. Well, kids do grow up. It's part of life. I really enjoyed this episode. It was snow amazing. Get it? <laughs> I cracked myself up. <laughs> I just made myself a funny. I'm the Loud House critic. And I'm going to head to the arcade to do some NASCAR driving. are filled with Christmas cheer At least it's only once a year Perfect parcels tied with perfect bows And carols ringing in my ear Bundled up against the cold Lines wherever gifts are sold Each shop window displays a Christmas scene for